70 year old male here with pain in the right arm in the triceps region. Mostly tender, seems like right here. Yeah. Uh, started about five or six months ago, he was kind of putting up a patio umbrella and it started falling and he tried to grab it and as he reached out and grabbed it, he seemed to strain the triceps muscles. He's had kind of on and off pain since then, um, especially when playing cards, which is kind of interesting. I guess the you know, flexion extension of the elbow when he's dealing cards seems to irritate him. So we're just gonna kind of that's where it's tender, yes. Here we're just honing in on this relationship between the teres major and the long head of the triceps muscle as well as the deltoid muscle. You can also appreciate the infraspinatus muscle and the lateral head of the triceps muscle as well. Here we're going to focus on where the patient is tender. We can see a convergence of muscles. Here we see the long head of the triceps muscle coming in. You can see the tendon as well as the long head of the triceps, and there's hypoechoic signal above and below the tendon. I think this is all part of the triceps muscle, but there is a chance there could be some involvement of the deltoid muscle as well in this tear. But scanning through the images, it seems like it's mostly or entirely perhaps the long head of the triceps, but again, there is a possibility that some of the bordering fibers of the deltoid muscle are involved. Here again, you can see this kind of bulbous portion of the proximal part of the long head of the triceps. Again, I think consistent with this tear and perhaps some chronic swelling of the muscle in that region as well. Here's a convergence of different muscles within this uh, part of the body in the proximal arm. You can see the deltoid overlying the teres major and that slips underneath the long head of the triceps. Now we're moving our probe again, focusing more on this hypoechoic bulbous region of the proximal aspect of the triceps brachii muscle long head, where I believe again this injury happened. You can see the tendon kind of going through this hypoechoic zone as well. And now we're just going down the humeral shaft. So here actually we see the medial head of the triceps begin to take off. Here is the, um, and that's the deepest portion of the uh, triceps muscle group. And you can see it basically just underneath the long head. And here the long head is starting to thin out and feather out as the long head contributes to the superficial part of the triceps tendon, which may be forming here in the very right side of the screen. Again, you can appreciate the, the layering of the muscles here. Also, you can appreciate how the long head of the triceps is feathering off into the superficial aspect. The tendon in the medial head is still a fairly thick muscle at this point. And now we're basically going back to where he's tender. Again, this is the proximal aspect of the uh, triceps brachii muscle long head, where you have this dark bulbous zone of the muscle. And I believe you can appreciate a little better here some hyperechoic, strany scarring within the muscle, uh, again, consistent with this injury. And again, here you can see the convergence of different layers of muscles, again, including the long head of the triceps, the deltoid, and the teres major muscles. You can also appreciate the humeral head underneath the long head of the triceps muscle. And now we're actually getting a pretty good view of teres major inserting on the humeral shaft, which you can see here nicely. Again, you can see the convergence of all these muscles, including the deltoid, and again, the long head of the triceps.